Hello, Sleep user. So today we're going to learn how to mute and solo selected instruments in your score. Now, this is an expansion of a previous video I did on how to mute instruments, but I feel like there's a bit more detail I can go on than I did in that previous video, so that's what this video is going to be for. So previously I already explained just how to mute the staves, but if you want to mute the staves, you also have to learn how to unmute the staves, which I didn't explain. And there's also a really simple way to solo the selective staves. And again, if we want to solo the selective staves, we have to unsolo the selective staves. So that's what we're going to do today. Normally what you'd have to do is you have to go to your mixer and you have to hit solo, 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 or you have to hit mute, mute, mute for any of the staves you want to solo or mute. Uh, but the way we're going to do this is we're just going to select staves like that and we're going to hit a keyboard shortcut and it will automatically solo the staves. Like we can just so it automatically solo the staves. Another one if we want to just mute those staves and a third if we just want to play back those staves. Because you know sometimes it'd be really nice to just isolate certain parts in your score. So that's what we're going to do today. This is going to involve JW Lua, so if you don't know how to install JW Lua, see my video in the description below. Uh, but to get started with the actual scripts, come over here to my website. These are all scripts based off of Yari Williams, which created the original plugin and also created the original script these are based off of. And so we're going to come over here to Table of Contents, Meet Selective Staves, come down here, download that script, also come back up to the Table of Contents, Play All Staves, download that script, and then we're also going to Solo Selective Staves and download that script. Where you download it doesn't really matter, but just make sure you download it and make sure that is a place that these scripts can stay. I usually like to put it in the same folder as my JDW Lua plugins, but that's all up to you. And once you have that downloaded, we're going to come up here, open up the plugin, JW Lua, JW Lua, and we're going to come over here to the Manager tab. Hit the Plugin Groups menu, and we want to add this item to the plugin group. We want to hit New, find whatever plugins you just created, and then hit OK and you'll see that they will show up here in the items in groups. So I already have them, so I'm not going to show that either process. But you can see we have solo selective staves, play all staves, and mute selective staves. They are all in this menu already. What this will allow you to do is it'll allow you to see these scripts in the menu bar up here. So you can already see that I have mute selective staves, play all staves, solo selective staves in the menu bar. Once you do that, hit close and then restart finale. Okay, so once finale is restarted, come back here. And you should be able to see them in the menu bar like I had them before. That's great. Now all we need is to create a keyboard shortcut. Now I'm going to use this using system preferences on a Mac. There's just one way you can create keyboard shortcuts. It's not the only way you can create keyboard shortcuts. So if you have a preferred method or want to see my video on how to create custom keyboard shortcuts, uh, now would be the time to do that. So if you have your own method, you can use that. Or if you want to see my video on how to create custom keyboard shortcuts, I'll link to that in the description below. So we're going to come back over here, we're going to go to System Preferences, open that up, and we're going to search for Keyboard Shortcuts. I'm going to go down here to App Shortcuts, and in, under Finale.app, we want to add these shortcuts. So the first thing is we're going to come back here, and just remember exactly what the title of one of these. So Meet Selective Staves, all capitalized with spaces. I'm going to come up here to Plus Sign, Mute, Selected, Staves, and we want to add a keyboard shortcut. Just press whatever keys you want. I like Control Option M. Then hit Add. I already have it. So I'm going to hit Cancel. And then we want to do the same thing for the next two plugins. Hit Plus, come over here. Make sure you know exactly what it's called. Uh, solo Selected Staves, capitalized with spaces. Solo Selected Staves. Hit a keyboard shortcut. I like Control Command S for solo. M for mute, as for solo. Hit add, and then we're gonna hit the plus sign again, and come over here to plugins, and this time we wanna find play all staves. Come back over here, play all staves, keyboard shortcut, again, control, command, P for play. So it's the exact same thing for all those, these are just the shortcuts I use. There might be shortcuts that are more beneficial to your environment, so you don't have to do the exact same thing. You can hit Add, and then come back over here to Finale, and you should see these keyboard shortcuts right next to each of the menu items. If you do, that means it's good, that means it's registered. So just for clarity, I'm going to open up the mixer over here. Let's say we're going to mute Trumpet 2 and Horn and F. We're going to hit the keyboard shortcut for Mute. And as you can see, these are not muted. And then if we want to have all the saves play, hit the keyboard shortcut for Play, and none of them are muted. And let's say we want to just Solo, I don't know, we're just going to solo trombone one. Hit the shortcut for solo. 
And now you can see that everything is muted except for that one instrument. Now, why did that instead of actually hitting solo the specific stave? Well, it was just easier for me to code that way. But either way, it still has the same effect of only soloing that one stave. And again, if we want to play all the staves, what do we do like before? We just hit the keyboard shortcut for play, and everything's going to play like normal. So that's it for today. That's how you meet in solo selected staves and how you go back to play all the staves in the future using simple keyboard shortcuts. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new content about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of these videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you get notified as soon as a new video comes out.